Hi, we have 3 squares of areas 27 square units, 12 square units and 3 square units placed on top of each other like so. We have a fourth square of area 12 square units placed here. Now, if another square like this was to be placed so that it rests on the arrangement like so, what would be the area of this square? I'll show you a magnificent method to solve this problem. Do pause the video to think of the solution. I'll lead you to ask the answer. Now, most of us must be willing to start finding the sides of each square, but that will involve lots of root numbers we might like to get rid of. So, what we'll do is to reduce the scale of the entire setup by 3 times and we see that all the areas have become nice square numbers which are easy to work with as the sides turn out to be nice whole numbers. Remember, it's not a necessary step but it will make our process nice and easy. So the areas now are 9 square units, 4 square units, 1 square unit and 4 square units as shown. Now that we have done this, we'll find out the sides of these squares. And the sides of squares will be 3 units, 2 units, 1 unit and 2 units respectively. Because the question asks for the area of the biggest square, our target should be to find out one side of the square which can be PS. So what we can do is to drop a line from point P perpendicular to the line UV at M. In the right angle triangle thus formed, we do have the measurement for PM which is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals to 6 units. If we can get the measurement for SM, we can get the side of the square by Pythagoras theorem. Um, so what can be done to get the measurement for SM? If we look carefully, we can see that we have accurate measurement for QT which is 2 units and RT which is equal to 3 minus 2 units equals to 1 unit. Now we should be wise enough to see that QR and PS has the same slope. The slope of QR is QT by RT equals to 2 by 1 equals to 2. So the slope of PS will also be 2. Therefore, PM by SM equals to 2 or 1 plus 2 plus 3 by SM equals to 2 or SM equals to 6 by 2 equals to 3 units. Now, using Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle PMS, we get PS square equals to PM square plus SM square equals to 6 square plus 3 square. Because one side of the green square is PS, area of green square can be given by 6 square plus 3 square, which is equal to 36 plus 9 equals to 45 square units. Because we had reduced the entire setup by 3 times, we'll enlarge our setup back to its normal size. So the final area of this square will be 45 times 3 equals to 135 square units. You must have noticed that the square on the bottom left doesn't have any role to play in finding the solution. It's merely there to support the tilted big square. Hope you like this method of scaling to our need. After all, it's always easy to deal with nice neat numbers instead of dealing with square roots. Remember, instead of reducing the scale by 3 times, you might as well enlarge it by 3 times so that these ugly squares turn into pretty ones so that your calculation becomes easy. With this, we have solved the question. Like and subscribe to the channel if you love the content.